I hear at 5.30 now a terrifying driveway robbery on Long Island where a knife and a gun were drawn on a mom and dad and their two young children. The family was traumatized, but thankfully not hurt. Police tell CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan the victims were followed home and then ambushed as they got out of their car. It was a harrowing ambush and driveway robbery of a young family followed home to their Whitman Road house in the village of Saddle Rock on the Great Neck Peninsula. Person comes right behind the husband uh, with a knife, and while the wife was out getting the kids out, somebody else came from behind with a gun. The parents, age 41 and 35, and their children were traumatized, say witnesses. For a child who's 7 or 12, is devastating. We're all taking extra precautions. The family complied with the two armed suspects who ripped Gucci watches and iPhones from the couple. They are traumatized. Their children are traumatized. Saddle Rock Mayor Dan Levy. Short of fortifying the village, and that may be the next step that I will have to fight for. Uh, to get permission from Albany. The mayor has added roving patrols. Some residents are asking the village to consider installing more lights, even security gates. Every house have uh, their kids, their young kids. It's. I, have, I really hope they're going to catch them. Several crimes in North Shore communities are being linked to suspects following victims home from restaurants or family gatherings. Even though this pattern has been established, it's still a very rare event. But you want to make your make sure your house uh, looks lived in. Police Chief Kenneth Lack. If you are the victim of a robbery and you're out of your car and you're in your driveway, certainly uh, give your property to them right away. Nothing is worth your life over. The hunt's on for two armed men dressed in black and gray ski masks escaped in this white BMW with a black convertible top. Stolen New York plate KLW 9605. Numerous cameras and license plate readers hover around this village. From Nassau's North Shore, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.